All right, we're going to give it a minute to get some people in the chat here. So this is going to be a one beer stream again tonight. How's it going, guys? Oh, wow, that just jumped up a lot on people. What's up, everyone? How's it going? Oh, not too bad. Getting stuff down out here. So we're going to do a little bit of an update at the beginning of this. Uh, start thinking of questions because I'm going to do a Q&A at the end. Anything you guys want to ask, get caught up on, go ahead and answer that. And uh, like I said at the beginning, it's going to be a one beer stream. I only brought one with me, so when this is done, we're going to end it. I only have like 60% battery anyway. Chicago area, where are you from? I used to work in Sock Village in Linwood. Great neighborhoods. So glad I don't work there anymore. So we've got all of the olive oil, the Oliver Super 55 behind us. Should be some projects coming up pretty soon with this thing. Um, it's got a bit of an electrical issue. Uh, it drains the battery if you leave it hooked up. So I haven't torn into that at all yet. But looking at the wiring on it, there's a lot that goes to nowhere. And I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the alternator is probably wired hot all the time. So I think I decided that I'm just going to take it all out, unwire it, and rewire it. It doesn't take more than a half day to rewire a tractor like this. And then uh, another slight issue it has, and this probably isn't a problem for most people, but if you drive downhill and off the throttle, it kicks out of every gear. And uh, we've seen our driveway, so. Oh, the good side of Chicago. Good. Um, yeah, so you got to tear in to figure out why it's kicking out of gear, because... Not that I don't mind going down the driveway in neutral, but going down the driveway in neutral on a tractor from the 1950s, just hoping that the back brakes keep working, gets a bit sketchy. Because I don't know how this is going to hit the dip at the bottom. I think it's going to throw me over the steering wheel if the brakes give out. So I like to have a gear. So that'll be upcoming project here, but customer stuff usually comes first before we get to play with this type of stuff. Also. I think I'm ordering a new set of bedsides for my 04 in the next couple weeks here. Both sides have dents in them, and I don't feel like getting those dents out or having them brought out, so I'm looking at uh, ordering a whole new set of bedsides. There'll be some videos coming up, pulling the bed and swapping bedsides on a truck. Uh, I haven't decided yet if we're going with composite or fiberglass ones. I'm not going back with steel, though. Third-gen Dodges have a known issue for holding moisture over the wheels, so if I have it apart, I take it as a time to upgrade and make sure that I never have to worry about corrosion on the bed. Uh, local work's been busy. Um, you guys saw I've got Lance's bus here with the engine torn down. We were supposed to get new bearings Wednesday, because we called Tuesday for the ones that they sent that were incorrect. They were going to overnight them. They didn't show up Wednesday. They didn't show up Thursday. We called them Thursday. And they had not shipped them out. They were still sitting on the shelf. So they were supposed to overnight them for today. And uh, as of 5.30 tonight, when I stopped working, we still hadn't got the uh, bearings in. So we're going to hope they show up tomorrow, but that's really putting uh, a bit of a damper on that. Um, haven't done much offside. I had a Volkswagen I had to go mess with a little while ago that had a death leak. But that wasn't a very big deal to mess with. Wasn't enough to make a video out of it. Um, Got some customer stuff that should be here in the next couple days. I've got a Nissan Titan coming in for a few things. Uh, just finished up an engine swap on a chainsaw for a buddy, so that'll probably end up being a video. I'm just waiting on the flywheel puller. I didn't have the right one, so everything but the flywheel's been swapped over in a new saw. Which, if you've never replaced an engine on a chainsaw, you, you replace everything because the engine's the chassis of the saw. Um, got a bunch more work coming up with Lance here soon. Um, I don't want to make any announcements until he's, you know, put stuff out there, but he's going to be making some announcements pretty soon about uh, some stuff with the buses. So I've got some work to do on 
Iron Man, nothing big. I just got to replace the arms for the rear levelers. Um, hey, Mom. Uh, got to get the engine finished up in this bus, and then both the MC8s have a bunch of work going out on them, I think. The McDonald's bus is actually going to pass the other MC8 in line for service. We're going to work on that one next, because the McDonald's bus appears to be in great shape. Um, air conditioning is working on it. Sound system works in it. All the interior 12-volt stuff is up and running on it. It's a good cleaning away from having the interior pretty much done and ready to go. It's going to need a little bit of paint touch-up, and I think the windows are going to get tinted and a couple pieces of glass replaced, but really, inside-wise, that bus is just in amazing shape, so I think we're going to work through the few mechanical things we know it needs, and I think that bus is going to be going into service pretty soon here. Um, there should be a little bit of travel work coming up soon. I believe weather-dependent Monday we're going to Alabama to go look at a bus for a customer, get it running, get the brakes on seized and stuff. Very weather dependent though because uh, I just looked at the forecast and from Sunday through the end, I don't know how to make someone a moderator while I'm in the video. Can I do that while I'm doing the chat or do I have to go back through and do that later? Anyway, um, dependent on weather, I might be out of town for part of a day to go do that one, but it's showing rain for pretty much the entire week. So Lance does have the McDonald's bus. That is his now. Um, we went and picked it up from Ohio, brought it back. That is the one that Dad did the engine swap after the previous two mechanics died in the process. Um, unfortunately, the person that owned it lost his business last year. and. Uh, okay, let me see if I can do this real quick. There you go. Fixed it. So, got that stuff coming up. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be quite a bit more of stuff to go with Lance's buses, but... It's looking like uh, what he's got planned, they're going to be pretty busy coming up soon. I did not know there was an air show in Smyrna this weekend. Yep, Line of Control Summer Sandies. Somebody noticed what it was. Um, hmm. I might try to head out there for that. I don't know. Depends on what we got going on. I know that there was a plane crash in Smyrna last weekend, I think. Earlier this week. But that's pretty much the updates I've got for right now. So we're still waiting on the correct bearings to get here so I can finish assembling the short block of Lance's bus. And then uh, back to the next one. Two dollars is all you can do, really? You're going to talk shit for two dollars? Come on. You can do better than that. You want to talk shit like, let's start them at 20. I forgot beers to buy them. Yeah, I might have to go see about going and looking at that. It all depends on what we're looking like for uh, for what we're going to be doing this week on the MC5 at the bottom. And uh, if I get bearings for Lance's, I'm going to try to take advantage of the good weather and get the bottom end of that engine completely assembled and put back together. The heads are back. They're ready to go on. Lance has them at his house right now. I haven't brought them back over here yet because I don't have anywhere to sit them for the moment until they're ready to go on the engine. So as soon as I get the bottom end done, we can get the heads over here. But... That's pretty much what we got going on with that stuff. So if you guys have any questions or anything you want to throw in the chat, just throw them in all caps. We'll get them answered up here. And then, like I said, we're not going to go too long on that one. Yeah, rain, not just rain Sunday. I'm showing rain in the forecast Sunday through like Thursday right now. Thunderstorms and rain the entire time, so. Um, so, yeah, that's going to put that up. Uh, Lance is doing okay. Um, he had to go get some laser eye surgery this week. I believe he had a torn retina. I talked to him the day after. He's doing pretty good. So, luckily he got that caught pretty quick and got it taken care of. And I don't think they think there's going to be any major issues, but... Get this up some. So I 
can read. Um, someone asked if I'm working independently or with dad. I, I still do independent work. I still work on all my own stuff. Uh, if help is needed around here, I gladly help out on stuff. And it, when you get to work on a lot of the bigger stuff, it, there is a lot of stuff where you need two people. But I still do have my own stuff that I mess with. Uh, Lance's fleet primarily. The whole reason that I moved down here originally was to service Lance's fleet. Yeah, it's been spotty rain here all week too. It's work for an hour or so and then have to hurry up and put everything away. Then you get another 10 minutes or so where you just start to get your tools out and then it comes back and it, it's annoying, but still got progress made this week, so it's better than nothing. Uh, whatever you want to say, buddy. I'm telling you, man, you can do more than two bucks. You, you got to do better than that. Anyway. Why do we keep having trolls donate to the beer fund here? You guys got any other questions or anything you want to throw out there? Uh, my bus. Now I'm working on the kitchen right now. I've about got the kitchen wall ready to seal up. I just got all the cables in to get my battery bank hooked to my inverter. Um, I need to run the control for the inverter up through the wall in the kitchen. I'm getting ready to seal and mount it. So, kind of sometime in the next week or so here, there should be another pretty big update and a bunch of stuff done on it. But, unfortunately, it, it comes second to doing customer and paying work. I'm not going to just take time off to work on my bus right now when I've got paying work here to do. Um, someone asked if I thought about investing in a hot power washer to clean vehicles before they come in. I've had a hot seat before. I've used them. I mean, it's nice, but it only goes so far and you can only get so much with it assembled anyway. You're going to be cleaning most of it while it's apart. It's it's not a high priority. It'd be nice at some point, but it's not something that I feel like I need right now. Um, somebody asked if we've done any brush hog work with Yolliver. I've done some. We ran it a few times. I did a bunch of work the other day brush hogging, but I used the Kubota when I did it. Just because of where I was on the hill and stuff. With this thing kicking out of gear, I don't want to try to go down the hill mowing and have it kick out of gear. So it's kind of limited right now where we're running it, but it's been working and, you know, starts up, runs good, runs the mower, no problem. So it has patina buses or restored and painted buses. Which one do I like best? Depends. We're talking natural patina because that requires no work. You just let it sit. I mean, it really depends on what the patina finish looks like. And what the base color is and stuff like that. Like my bus, it's going to get painted at some point. I've got a lot of body work to do before it gets painted, but I'm just not a huge fan of the color and the way it's set up. And there's overspray everywhere that needs to get addressed on it. Whoever painted that bus did a pretty bad job at prepping it. My front bumper is halfway painted from when they sprayed the nose. But that's just one of those projects that I thought about doing it test part or you know painting like the back tailgate or something just to see what it was going to look like and get an idea for it but if I have the time to do it it really needs to go towards other projects right now so I mean they they look good both ways it just it really depends on your choice of colors because if my bus was patinaed in that maroon color that it is I don't think I'd care for it but it's just the color shade I don't like on it uh, we have not gone to get my sister's bus yet that should be sometime soon hopefully but again that's a you know non-paying project and another bus that we have to have storage space for and right now that space has been taken up with customer projects so that's another thing it just it gets pushed off until you know we have the time and the space to get to it um 
So asking about if I've managed to work out how to remove that entrance wall on my bus yet. I've been making a little more progress on it. There are a bunch of stainless steel fasteners that are currently getting drilled out to get the rest of the trim off. It's... I don't think it's going to come out the way I want it to. We're really close to where I should have everything out, but it was never intended to be removed. There's no workshop manual information on that. There's no procedures to remove it. It's not supposed to come out of the bus. So I've got a lot of the rivets drilled out at the floor. Everything is coming apart and we should be close, but I just, it's not wanting to move and the stuff that's holding it shouldn't have an effect on me being able to get the floor to release. So if that doesn't work, um, cutoff wheel is going to come out and we're going to make it removable. I'm trying not to do that because it's going to look a lot nicer if I can get it to remove without having to make cuts into it. But if it comes down to it, it has to be able to come out really soon because I need to be able to remove that to get the next couple kitchen cabinets. And I've got a few in there, but the next two will not fit in the bus with that in place. So uh, once I get the rest of those stainless screws drilled out, I'll mess with it. The thing that sucks is where they're drilling them. It's right in the middle of the door, so I can leave the front door open while I'm doing it. And it's either been raining or too hot to want to leave the door open and let all the AC out. So we'll we'll get it out of there. It, it'll come out one way or another. I just I'm trying to get it out with doing the least amount of damage because anything that I mess up, we're gonna have to clean up and fix when we go to reinstall it. So I want to try to keep it as clean as possible when we do this. What year did they start putting air conditioning on passenger buses? So Silversides had them pre and post war. So 1941 Yellow Coach would have had AC. I don't know for certain that that's the first, but that's for sure a very early example of something that would have had AC on board. Uh, Sage might know more on that one if he's in the chat. I don't know if he's here. I think Roy's always doing well. He gets to lay on a couch and air conditioning all day. Like, who doesn't want to do that? Brandon said he sold his international. He's now looking for another semi that will do highway speeds. Yeah, I saw you, the video of you selling that thing. I was a little sad to see it go, but at the end of the day, a semi that does, I'm assuming, 55, maybe 60. I, I could see how that's a little less than optimal for daily use. Uh, another question, how much money do I allocate for tools per period of time, or do I just spend as needed? Um, I don't really have any allocation for what tools cost, but I also have quite a few tools. Um, when it comes down to needing a specialty tool, if I need it, I need it, I just buy it. I just had to order a different set of flywheel pullers for small engines the other day for the chainsaw that I'm swapping an engine on right now. So when I need them, I order them. Um, when I was still buying stuff, I, I budgeted somewhat for them, uh, especially starting out, but anymore it's to the point where if I need it, it just it has to get done to, to finish the job. Unfortunately too, when you work for yourself or have your own shop, you gotta have everything. You don't have a choice. You know, if it comes in, you gotta be able to fix it. So your toolbox grows a lot versus, you know, working in a dealership, you really just need to provide your basic set of tools and most of the specialty stuff is provided by the dealership. So that gets to be a little bit difficult but anymore it's just if i need it i go out and buy it or order it and have it shipped here uh, see if the tool truck guy gets it and stuff like that this one has to take the steps out yeah uh, i don't know what you mean there the front steps are staying in on mine i'm just getting the wall out of the way to load stuff uh yeah dad pointed out something this this live is coming from you right in the front section of the shop be the far edge of it right now. How soon before the poles go up for the shop? Uh, no poles for this actually. This is a Quonset hut, so it's just gonna be a big arch. Uh, the big thing right now is concrete which I'm pretty sure some dad or somebody will jump down in the, the chat. Having a fun time getting a concrete contractor to come out here, give us a quote, and show up and do the work. 
as with everything right now, it's hard to find a contractor, it's hard to get materials, and we've been having a fun time getting a concrete guy to give us a full estimate, something we can sign off on and just show up. Oh, take steps out to remove modesty panel. The steps shouldn't be in the way of removing that, so it's got an aluminum ring that goes around the edge towards the center aisle. I've already ground the heads off all the rivets flush with the floor. So with that one, I should just have to drive a chisel between it and the floor and hopefully get them to pop up, which I haven't had any luck there yet. Um, as it runs along the front, there's essentially a piece of angle that bolts into the floor. All that stuff has been removed. I don't think it's tied in behind the front steps, but that's where I was saying that, uh, you know, if they have to get cut, that's probably where I'm going to have to do the cuts. Sorry, I just saw someone said, stop buying Harbor Freight tools, they'll get you killed. I don't really have many Harbor Freight tools, but I wouldn't say that they'd get you killed. Anyway, back to what we were saying. Um, but that's where I think it's going to get cut. The part I'm dealing with right now is where it wraps along the side at the door frame. There's trim that's the door stop where the seal sits against the inside edge, and that's where I'm getting it off because it goes through there, through the front of that panel, and then uh, into the wall of the bus. So it, it's just a slow progress. Like I said, it, I'm drilling out stainless steel fasteners right now, and it's not fun. It's been wiping out a lot of drill bits, but we're getting progress made on it. It's getting really close to the point where that's the only thing I have left to do before I can make a next couple steps. But we'll get it out of there. Someone asked if we planned on making the property an RV park for recreational visits. No, no, I, I don't think that anyone else is that they're interested in that. I can't speak for what their plans are, but it, it's a place to do work. It's not a place to hang out or have fun and stuff like that. You know, at the end of the day, we're, we're working on stuff here that isn't safe just to have people wandering around and doing stuff like that. Yeah, he said no. That's what I figured. It's it's no different than any other shop. You know, you, you don't get to run around and play inside of a shop while they're working on your bus. We don't want people doing that here either. Someone will get hurt and then that'll put an end to it all pretty quickly. If you guys have any more questions, hurry up and get them in the chat here because the, uh, the one beer of the one beer live stream is about done. And I don't know how much battery I got left because I started this with less than half. Brandon said he thinks Bo's going to buy his bus. Is he getting rid of his too or is he just adding another one? Uh, someone says, did Sage visit lately? We saw Sage a few weeks ago. He stopped by when he was doing something down in Tennessee. Oh, it's adding another bus to the collection. Yeah, that's always a good idea. I always support that decision. You can never have too many buses. Um, yeah, when Sage was down here, he was asking some questions. I believe at some point we might be getting one of his bus buses. Uh, sorry, just reading comments here. Uh, yeah, he's looking at bringing one down here for a possible in-frame on it. Someone asked, is Lance's bus done? Uh, no, we are still waiting on the bearings that they were supposed to overnight Tuesday. So I can't put the heads on until the cylinder kit's in. I'm not putting the cylinder kit's in until I have the bearings. I'm not going to just risk letting them hang because I don't want to risk damaging the crank by putting it on without having a bearing set in there. Even if you don't turn it over, I'd be afraid that something's marring the crankshaft up. Uh, Lance is doing good. Um, someone asked again. I uh, just talked to him yesterday. He had to go get some corrective laser eye surgery for a torn retina this week. I talked to him the day after he was back at work, so I think he's doing pretty good. But 
I think we're going to go ahead and end this up here. I'm going to finish this, and I will see you guys later. There should be another video coming up pretty soon here. Chicken tacos are the only way to go. I'm going to just ask taco preference. Shredded chicken tacos, best ever. But I'm going to go ahead and get this wrapped up. We should have another video coming up pretty soon here for you guys on my channel. Uh, I was hoping to have the other half of Lance's video, but like I said, we're still waiting on bearings. They were supposed to overnight them Tuesday. If we called them Thursday, they hadn't shipped them yet. They were supposed to overnight them out yesterday. They didn't arrive today, so we're going to hope that they show up tomorrow while I still have a good gap in weather. And uh, hopefully the next video up will be finishing up the bottom end of Lance's and then getting ready to set heads on it. I appreciate you guys stopping by for the live stream tonight. We've had amazing views over the last month. I want to thank you guys for that. There's a lot of new subscribers as well. Welcome to all you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more for you soon.